do we in effect have two different governments the 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 people who are running the show behind the scenes and those who are acting as their uh puppets so to speak so here's the thing to understand there there are no governments there are no mm -hmm. governments you know there are governments as a technical legal matter matter and the funding mm -hmm. goes to the government but here's you know so so i'll use the u.s government which i understand um, mm -hmm. For a government to be sovereign, it has to have financial sovereignty and it has to have information sovereignty and it has to have a decision sovereignty. So I have to be able to say no without the bankers pulling my money and and putting me in a position where I can't send checks to, to the taxpayers and the citizens. So we don't have financial sovereignty. Part of levering up the, the governments is putting them in a debt trap. And it's been done to the selected part of the population, too. So one, you don't have financial sovereignty. Two, you don't have information sovereignty. When I became assistant secretary, I would regularly try and get data from corporate contractors that was required for me to run my operation according to the law. So according to the law, the, the mortgage insurance single family fund in the United States is supposed to be run on a self-sustaining basis. That is the law. I could not get from Lockheed Martin the data I needed to tell with ours making and losing money. I finally had to have the accountants moved over to report to me and do estimations so I could, I could basically try and implement the law. But I can't tell you the food fights I had with corporate banks and corporate contractors who would refuse to give me the data because they didn't want me to know what was going on in the operation because it was clearly outside of the law. The third thing you need is you need decision sovereignty. A, a, uh, so let me step back on information sovereignty. We've seen story after story of a president trying to have a private phone call with another global president and not being able to have a private phone call. And it's, it's getting leaked to the New York Times, et cetera, you know, by the intelligence agencies. And this comes back to the IT systems, which are now clearly under control of both intelligence agencies and their corporate contractors. The third thing is a sovereign government needs the ability to make decisions. So I need to be able to say no to big pharma without my children you know, being killed or me having a car accident. And at this point, the covert operations are significant and out of control. And that includes generating control files on massive numbers of people. I mean, I was told very clearly by the cabinet secretary I worked for, who used to keep ordering me to obey the law. It was uh, disobey the law. I refused, which is why I had to leave. But he would basically tell me, you know, I'm going to find dirt on you and 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 basically expose you unless you do what I say. You know, and and it, what was very interesting is when I ended up being targeted by the Department of Justice. I think part of the problem was if you don't have a control file, they'll just make one up. And I spent 11 years and six million dollars. You know, working for free for 11 years is a lot. And I spent 11 years and $6 million proving that they had nothing. And, and not everyone, particularly people with a large family, can't afford to do that. 